Hello, and welcome back to another Sashimi tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover another often asked about question in the forums, which is, how do I create my shortcuts for my installed applications in the locations that I want to put them in? So we're going to start off by looking at Sashimi's file structure a little bit more. Let's go to the storage card. And we'll go into the root of Sashimi. Now, the auto folder we worked with a lot in the first two tutorials. Uh, the manual folder is very similar to the auto folder, except these subfolders are used for manual installs within Sashimi. The backups is only used in a couple of cases when you're doing registry backups. The program menu is what stores all the program and settings and help files for Sashimi. Now, in particular, the directory that we want to work with here is the any directory. Now you'll see right now there's only a couple of any files in here. The custom tools any file which is customizable by you if you want to add additional custom tools to the custom tools menu. And the settings any file which is the main Sashimi settings. You normally don't want to modify this directly. We're going to create a new any file called custom links any. The custom links any file is what is going to tell Sashimi where to place the link files or shortcut files for your particular application. So I've just gone ahead and copied over a custom links any file. I've also created another copy in there just as a text file so that we can open it up and see what it is. Um, actually there is a sample version of this file in the help directory. Okay, this file here, the sample custom links any dot file can be uh, copied over and modified. It has to exist in the any folder as just custom links dot any. So I'm going to open this up so you can see what it looks like. I've created a very simple example here that shows the cab I want to install and the location I want the shortcuts to be created. So in this particular example, this is saying that the Kevtris cab file, I want the shortcuts to be placed in my programs folder. Okay, and that's underneath Windows Start menu. So underneath Windows Start menu, I want it placed in programs, fun and games. Now there's additional syntax that can be used for the link files. It supports wildcards. Uh, and it also supports the none parameter, which means don't create a shortcut at all. Please refer to the documentation for more detailed information on that. But all you need to do is create a simple custom links file like this, place it in the any folder. Now what I'm going to do is go back up to my cab folder under auto. And let's copy over the Kevtris cab. Okay, there we go. The Kevtris cab has been copied over. Uh, and note that I'm just putting it in the root of auto so that it's going to be installed to device memory. So let's go ahead now that we've done that and launch Sashimi. And before I go ahead and do the auto run, let's just open up the programs group and look in Fun and Games. You can see that we have no shortcuts currently in the Fun and Games folder. So let's go ahead and run the auto phase where we will see Sashimi install the cab and it's also doing a pre-scan on the file system which it uses in order to move the shortcuts to the appropriate location after installation. As you see here, it now modifies the shortcuts. Auto phase is complete. Sashimi exits. And now let's go back over to the Programs menu, back into Fun and Games, and here you see the Kevtris 2 shortcut has been placed in the appropriate location. So that's a real simple introduction to the Custom Links Any file. The important things to remember are you can get a sample version of that file from the Help folder. That file needs to be called Custom Links Any, and it needs to be placed in the Any folder according to the syntax in the documentation. So again, please refer to the documentation to get the proper syntax of that file. Hope that you enjoy that functionality. Good luck.